हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम पुष्प पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल बींग बुकेश सो वेलकम टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ आई सी एस सी क्लास टेन फिजिक्स चैप्टर वन ऑन हाउ टू सॉल्व द मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड बेसिकली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ द टॉपिक हाउ टू सॉल्व मीटर रूल क्वेश्चन हाउ टू सॉल्व मीटर रूल क्वेश्चन एज डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट आई हैव टोल्ड दैट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई वुड बी सॉल्विंग दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो लेट इज डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट एंड बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू टेक टू क्वेश्चन सो दैट आई कैन गिव यू अ बेसिक आइडिया ऑन हाउ दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी सॉल्व and again i would say this is not a hard question and a hard concept these are very easy concept if you know and understand carefully okay so the first question will appear in front of your screen let me just read it for you there is a question that a uniform meter rule is pivoted at its midpoint a weight of 50 g force is suspended at one end of it where should a weight of 100 g force be suspended to keep the rule horizontal so this is the question and let me extract the information which is given from this question so basically the question is telling that there is a uniform meter rule now what do you mean when i say a uniform meter rule so remember that whenever you will be given that there is a rule which is which is uniform meter rule then it is indicating that the length of this uniform meter rule is yes a 100 cm so basically this is 0 cm mark and this should be 100 cm mark next the next information given in the question is a meter rule is pivoted at its midpoint so again and again i have been constantly trying to say that whenever the word is given pivoted that means that is the point from where force is calculated so basically in our question the uniform meter rule is pivoted at its midpoint so if a uniform meter rule is of 100 cm the midpoint is obviously going to be that the midpoint which is 50 cm mark okay now a weight of 50 g force is suspended at one end of it so there are two ends this is one end of the meter rule and this is one more end of the meter rule so a weight of 50 g force is suspended at any one end so i have, I have took this end and showed that this is a 50 g force which is put at here next where should a weight of 100 g force be suspended to keep the rule horizontal so the question demands that there is a weight of 100 g force and this 100 g force should be placed where in this meter rule so that this meter rule gets balanced okay so now let us try to visualize this question this is a meter rule and now if there is no weight put it on it this is balanced but when a weight of 50 g force is put here the weight and the meter rule will turn in this way yes or no the meter rule is going to turn in this way so basically one idea you have gained that 100 g force is going to be put this side so that this can get balanced okay so the first uh, condition is that 100 g force is going to be placed in this side now the question is where it should be put whether it should be put at here 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 or where obviously it can can't be put here because it is 50 g and it is 100 g so basically it should come around here so now let us see how to solve it basically we need to find a, a point so that the meter rule gets horizontal there is a line or the word which is given at the end to keep the meter rule horizontal to keep the meter rule horizontal horizontal is this i think and vertical is this so horizontal means basically what it is trying to say to make this meter rule equilibrium in equilibrium condition 
Now we know that according to the principle of moment in equilibrium, when a object is in equilibrium, so total clockwise moment is equal to total anti-clockwise moment. Yes, this we have read. So how to apply this? See, there is a weight which is put here. Okay, so total clockwise moment. What is the formula for calculating moment of force? It is force into distance, force into distance, perpendicular distance, and also here force into perpendicular distance. So this is clear. Now, what is the clockwise moment? What is a clockwise moment? So I think this, if I have put it this in this way, so it is going to produce a clockwise moment. Okay, it is going to produce a clockwise moment. So basically for clockwise moment, this is our the required force. So the required force is 50 gram force. And how to calculate distance? Distance is always calculated from the pivoted point. And for this question, our pivoted point is this 50 centimeter mark. So how much distance is is in between 0 cm and 50 cm. Obviously 50 cm is the distance. Now here what is the force value? It is 100 gram because we know that uh, a weight is going to be putted here. Now let me draw one diagram. Okay basically how this 100 gram force will be represented here. I think it should be represented in this way. Why only in this way? Why not in this way? Because if you will put this weight this side, then this is also going to make the rule in the clockwise moment. Yes or no? If I put the weight this side, then this is also going to put a clockwise moment. So basically what will happen? This will turn like this. Okay, but we need to make it horizontal. So basically we want to, we will put it like this. So that this will produce clockwise moment and this should produce clockwise moment uh, sorry anti clockwise moment and they should cancel each other and the meter rule should get balanced i hope you understood that so basically our force value is 100 gram force or and the perpendicular distance this we need to calculate so let the perpendicular distance be d now this perpendicular distance is always calculated from the midpoint keep in mind always now let us calculate the value of d it will be 50 into 50 and this 100 will come this side so 0 and 0 0 and 0 so basically is our answer is 25 centimeter so i hope the first question is clear to you and now let us have a look on the second question so the second question says a uniform meter rule balances horizontally on a knife edge placed at the 58 centimeter mark when a weight of 20 gram force is suspended from one end so we need to draw a diagram of the arrangement and also we need to say what is the weight of the rule means the what is the weight of the meter rule so let us extract information from this question first of all it is a uniform meter rule so that means the end point will be 100 centimeter and 0 centimeter next it is getting balanced horizontally on a knife suppose this is our knife okay so it is getting balanced horizontally balanced on a knife edge placed at 58 centimeter mark so when it is getting balanced when a knife is placed at 58 centimeter mark so it will be around here and also when a weight of 20 gram force is suspended from one end so when this uh, knife is placed at 58 centimeter and there is a weight of 20 gram force placed at this meter rule so then the meter rule is getting balanced so our first criteria is to find out the diagram of this meter rule okay so there is a weight of 20 gram force and i would like that you should think where should this 20 gram force be placed whether it should be this side or this side so to answer this question let us uh, see that this is a meter rule okay let us assume this is a meter rule now when it, it uh, when the midpoint or if the knife was placed at the 50 centimeter mark then what should have happened then it should be in equilibrium but when it is placed at 58 centimeter mark when it is placed at 58 centimeter mark then it should be pushing this side that means what this is the heavier side 
yes or no this is pushing this side that means what it is getting down this side that means a weight is already here and let us assume that so it is the heavier side and it is the lighter side so our 20 gram force should be placed this side so that this meter rule gets balanced yes or no if the 58 centimeter mark is placed here this is getting this side so our 20 gram force should be placed this side so that this meter rule gets balanced so the first thing we will do is assume that 20 gram force weight is placed this side okay at one end so basically the first answer is already done this is the required diagram of the question now the second question asks to find out the weight of the rule now one very important thing is here whenever you will be asked to find out weight of meter rule you will assume or the basic concept is that weight of the meter rule acts at the midpoint of the meter rule weight of meter rule acts at the midpoint of the meter rule now why i have drawn like this so that again this and this force becomes opposite to each other they cancel each other and then the meter rule gets balanced okay now in equilibrium again we will write in equilibrium in equilibrium total clockwise moment is equal to total anti clockwise moment now which is the clockwise moment this is producing the clockwise moment this is producing the clockwise moment so this is producing so force i'm directly writing force into perpendicular distance so from where the distance is calculated the distance is always calculated from the pivoted point and for this question our pivoted point is this so 20 into 2442 is equal to 100 minus 58 is 42 total anti clock moment so what should be a weight we do not know what is the weight so let the weight be g okay and distance we know what is the distance between this and this it is 8 centimeter yes or no i hope you are understanding the concept total clockwise moment is equal to total anti clockwise moment force into perpendicular distance for this side force is 20 gram force and what is the distance this is the distance because this is the pivoted point this time note a note should be made that pivoted point is not always the midpoint it can be at any point it can be this point also okay so now let us calculate the value so 20 into 42 divided by 8 so 2 for the 2 10 the 2 2 the 2 5 the 2 21 the so 21 into 5 is 105 gram force so the weight of meter rule is 100 and gram force and when this weight will be placed here when this 105 gram weight force will be placed here the meter rule will get balanced okay kindly note so this was all from this video i hope the video was helpful to you if the video was helpful don't forget to like the video in the upcoming video i am going to bring a more difficult question so that you can get a more clarity about this type of question if anyone is new to the channel it's a reminder to kindly subscribe to this channel so that i can get a bit motivation and can bring a more better video okay thank you